What's going on, guys? Here. Episode 24? We are. 24. Also, <laughs> I just want to start this with a thank you. Yeah, thank you to all the support, guys. Everybody um, out there. I've been meaning to bring it up, but I wanted to show Bass in person yeah, Josh, that we show, have yeah. hit a total of over a thousand, over a thousand. views yeah. yep. on yep. our cumulative channel. Yep, overall, overall. That's crazy. That's a, a semi-big semi uh, milestone, I like to say, as a, as a small content creator. Yeah, so thank you guys <coughs> for... Everything, yeah. Yeah. all the support. All the views, all the, views, all the, yeah. the kind messages. Exactly, cannot cannot thank you all enough. But so that's a little, uh, that's a good note to... Yeah, thank you guys. To start off on, I, I, I didn't believe it. Yeah, John, and then John pulled it up, and I was like, <laughs> wow. Because, you know, I, it's, I think it'll be around, I think it's, I don't know, six months, it's like around that. Yeah, we're almost like... It's around there. But I know we started in like Damn. June. Summertime. I know it's literally crazy. It's almost been... weird. Yeah, because I like go through the YouTube channel and like see six months ago. <laughs> and I'm like, shit, we've been doing it. But like, we've only done like, you know, twenty four. You know, we're recording yeah, we the twenty fourth episode. Twenty fourth episode with a couple like pack openings. Yeah, and yeah. Gameplay yeah, just in a couple, between. Yeah. But it feels so weird though because twenty four doesn't sound like that much. But in the six month time span, yeah, like, the damn. fact it's been one a week, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, <laughs> it adds up. Yeah, I don't know, just it's just crazy. But why is Rudy Gobert bringing up the ball? Rudy at point? No, those cats. <laughs> Rudy Gobert. Whatever. We Rudy finally have, I, I got a VPN, so I'm yeah, actually able VPN, to finally yeah. watch the Sixers game. Yeah. Was that a tw- sixteen to two run? We're down by twenty. Yeah, we are down by twenty to the the, the ass Timberwolves. But but we don't have um you know Maxi Harden's out, yep. and Tobias is out for some reason. Coach's decision. Yeah, I don't know if that's like some underlying. I don't know if some person. I don't know, but it just says coach's yeah. we'll, decisions. We'll so. get into that sad shit in a little bit. Yeah, but we do want to bring up some some funny <coughs> past NBA players. Yeah. Talking some bullshit or playing insane. Playing insane. Yeah, no. I mean, the one is good, and the other one's kind of like, you're a little, a little delusional. Yeah. I, I want to start with one of my favorite players yeah, the of good, all time. The good, yeah. Mr. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard, crazy. Playing over in Taiwan. Mm-hmm. And that boy playing point guard, He's basically. Playing, he, hey, he, I watched the whole minute, you know, minute and a half clip or whatever. Man's had 38 of 14, on 14 of 32. He shot 10 threes, only made two of them. But he was at a, uh, eight of twelve from the free throw, twenty five rebounds, nine assists, and four blocks. That's, it's amazing. It's so fun to see, like, because obviously he's like their main guy over yeah, there, and like he's like, I don't know, because they love him there. Just yeah, for, the crowd's going crazy, crazy in those videos. I, I'm not sure why specifically uh, Taiwan loves him. So I don't know what you know what the backstory is, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, I just think it's sick that Dwight Howard can go there and like. Basically, be a superstar in his own in his own way. Because like, obviously, he was he was dominant in the NBA, but you know, towards the back end of his career, yeah, slowing down. So it's like, why not? Oh, I'm still really good at basketball. Yeah, Let me go dominate I'm, this other league. I'm still at my age ten times better than the average person yes, yeah. at basketball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, if I just go to a different country and then yeah, I can just dominate. And he he is. <laughs> it's it's it's. I uh, love to see it. I, not efficiently, but no, that does not matter. <laughs> we don't care. I don't care that he's. It's not efficient. Yep. They literally just said, "Fuck it, just get go ahead, Dwight. Mm-hmm. Just do whatever." Shoot ten threes a game, and he did. I mean, he <laughs> hit two of them. So hey, might as well. Yeah, he hit a couple. Yeah, while he was in the yeah. league. So, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, he like started to yeah, at the yeah, little yeah, Lakers. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He started to branch out, just putting tad, up a couple yeah. threes. But I saw him just taking just like his. I hate his jump shot. It's so it's ugly. Terrible. But like him, just like just from the, like a deep two, just bing, and it's just so it's so weird looking. <laughs> but um, yeah. Over, I think it's it's <laughs> I think it's insane. He's playing like prime. Dwight right now. Yeah, in his, in <laughs> his last log. season with the Lakers, uh, 8 for 15 from 3. Yeah, so it's like, okay. 5 for 20 the year before. Yeah. And so he 
was is halfway to his season total. Yeah, of but I mean, at game. least I don't know. I like that he's shooting them. Why yeah. not? Might as well. I love it. Might as well just have fun. But on have the a good time. delusional side, we have Mr. Uh, Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas. I saw uh, a couple quotes about this, but Bass brought it more to my. Yeah, attention. I have a specific quote. Um, he, I guess he did a sit down interview with uh, Ball. Don't stop. Um, that's who posted it on Twitter. Um, but there was a quote here. I've never been a d- defensive liability. This is the most frustrating label I get. It's because I'm 5'9". Um, nobody has ever taken advantage of me on the NBA court. Um, he also had a, another quote that he said, if you give me 18 point, or eighteen minutes, he'll give you 14 points and four assists. That's crazy. And then he was like, yeah, like if you gave me 25 <laughs> You know, I know the game so well. The game's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah, he, he kept saying, he kept stressing how easy the, the league was. Yeah, he, was he like, said like four and or five like, times. No in disrespect to the current NBA players because they're talented as fuck. But the game is a lot easier now. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you, okay, sure. Cause, and then he talked about spacing. And I'm like, yeah, spacing definitely changes the way that basketball is being played. But I don't know if you could call it easy. I don't, I yeah, don't, no, you I don't, can't. I don't know. I'm not an NBA player. He is, so you know he has a little more fluid. Uh, I don't know what word to use there. Um, he, to his, you yeah, know, his he name. knows exactly yeah, how because he's been in the NBA. But yeah. outside looking in, it's it's supposed to be the best. You know, the best. I mean, basketball wh- last year getting eight points a game doesn't sound easy. You know, he was getting twelve minutes a game, eight points. Doesn't sound very easy. Yeah, you know? I don't. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, you give him eighteen. He'd give you about 14, yeah. yeah. What was his efficiency, though? Probably uh, dog. He had 43 from the field. Yeah. Almost 40 from three. Oh, yeah, that's solid. But Yeah, but, like, that doesn't... You can't look at that and, like, see defense. Hey, he's <laughs> talking assists, too. He got an assist and a half per game. Yeah, you so. said four, dude. I don't know. You would think at least it... In, uh, how many minutes? 12? Yeah, 12. <laughs> oh. 12.9, so You 13. would think that, you know, you would get at least uh, you know, two yeah, assists. Yeah, another, another, another one. Assist, uh, maybe least three. Because the game's know. so easy, apparently. Yeah, the game's so easy, I say. I don't, I don't know. I would like to see him come back and then, like, prove me wrong and just yeah. go crazy, but, like, I don't well, see him. He's talking him. crazy like that. It's he's 5'9", like like... he's older. We know that hip injury and everything that completely derailed his shit. So I don't think he's at a... And the people are saying like just go go overseas. Yeah. Go and I mean I mean somebody said go do, 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 join Dwight <laughs> That'd be in great. Taiwan. And somebody said that on Twitter and then I was we were you know me and John were talking and said like, oh yeah why not that'd be great that would be just, fun. I'm, I w- let's go to Taiwan and watch Isaiah. Dude, I'm and hey, I'd be down a little pick and roll <laughs> man. The pick and roll would be crazy. It really was. And he could just do whatever. That would be I think that would be fun. But I don't know if he has like a certain pride or something. He's like, no, yeah, I have maybe. to play for the NBA, but. I just I like when guys just kind of just no nah, I'm gonna go overseas and build a whole yeah do your thing and you can do that wherever you want to do your yeah. thing do your thing I love when, I love it I love when players do that so I love that Dwight to just wrap it up with <laughs> the uh, you know the good news just uh, I love to see Dwight branch out and just yeah like I said be a superstar in his own right in a different country which yeah. I think is super dope it's still and basketball it's, it's still... still basketball and I see him I've seen so many clips on his social media like he's just living life like he's just you know, in the town or whatever, just living it up with all the people. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. She's very wholesome. I was like, this is dope. <laughs> like, I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I like him as a player, but I feel like he'd be a cool person as well. So I'm like. 100%. He definitely you will know, be. Happy, I, I don't know. It's nice to see him living his best life and, and you know, just enjoying life. So. Definitely. Shout out Dwight Howard one time. Also, guys, I forgot to say this at the beginning. Check out the socials. Oh, yeah, check, check out, out socials. TikTok. Yeah. Post a couple we have hilarious yeah, a little TikToks. couple banger TikToks. Yeah, one's blowing up right now. Yeah. Someone saved it to their favorite. Let's just say John got the voice filters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, John got the voice filters. <laughs> so, yeah. Expect more content Enough on the TikTok. Said. Yeah, Enough said. said. John has the exclusive. Because I don't fucking have it still. <laughs> I don't have it on my TikTok, okay? But if you Very check out the new Bruise with Bass. Yeah. <laughs> it is in the... I think it's the Jesse yeah, voice. Yeah, the Jesse one for that the, one. The, spe- the text speech lady voice. So <laughs> that was pretty fun. Yes. That was but, a good time. You know, before we get into the other sad news, let's talk about that insane Joel game. Yeah. He was going crazy. I didn't get to watch it. No. 
No. But I did. did I. But, uh, I really I wish I did. I, I wish I did. I wish I did watch it. I don't know why I didn't, but. What day was that? It was before the long like break. Last week, no, not last week. It was four four days ago. Uh, where is it? The fifteenth. Fifteenth. Where was the fourteenth? Because wasn't the fourteenth. Was the fifteenth? Was it the thirteenth? Because Daryl Morey tweeted this out the fifteenth. That was the it was the Utah days. Utah game. Oh, yeah, okay, it was okay, the thirteenth. Okay. So it was two days after. Okay. Oh wait, no. It literally says right here eleven thirteen. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna say the stat line. And no, it is not a my career player yeah, that Bass and I my, did on like a stream it's or something. Not, you would think it would. This is a professional basketball player's yeah. actual stat line. Yeah. With an amazing fifty nine points. Oh my god. A plus twenty five on the floor. Seven blocks, eight assists, eleven boards, twenty from twenty for twenty four from the uh, three fo- uh, free throw. Milking them. And 19 of 28 from the field. Beautiful. For a basically 68% from the field. Yeah, ba- that, that's the, the efficiency. And also, um, if anybody knows what game score is, it kind of just everything that you do, like it equates for like all your stats and everything. And Joel Embiid has a like seventh all-time game score with that. Like he, he, is, he is behind Devin Booker and in front of Kevin McHale. He's a 54.40. That was um, wow. game score. It was so good. And the number one guy, it's Michael Jordan, Kobe, L. Carl Malone, but then James Harden is on here multiple times. Mo- Michael Jordan is on here, and now Joel Embiid is on here. I mean, just reading pure stats, it was it's crazy. Yeah, but that, that's like a, it's a legitimate, like he's top 10 all time in game score. Yeah. I mean, obviously it could be whatever, with how the game is progressing. But still, I mean, these some of the, you know, Kevin McHale's been there since. You know, eighty five. Yeah. So it's like it doesn't just say. Yeah, and you don't see. Game. Yeah, you don't it's see like, guys just drop sixty and like have a. I mean, I guess you kind of do, but like arguably one of the, overall. Yeah, yeah. Like Getting an overall just dominant game. It's yeah. not just some people just score and that's the only thing. Then game, your game score isn't that crazy. Like seven blocks and the, they were dominant blocks. <laughs> it, like and it was crunch time blocks. Yeah, too. it was. Yeah, like no, it was he a came close up in the game clutch, for yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And Which was so annoying because he was going crazy, but it was still just like neck and neck high key. Yeah, best. Without looking at my screen, who had the second highest? And what was their total? Did Bias, I'm assuming Bias played? He did play. He wasn't the second? No. Was it Maxi? It was Maxi okay. with 18. Okay. And Maxi was the only other person to score in double digits. That's okay. That's, that's why it was a close yep. game. Toby had eight. Eight. As our third leading scorer, so he got the third. He was our third. I knew he'd be up there somewhere, but I'd, I'd hope a little higher than, than eight points. But when Maxie's going eight for 24, yeah, the when Toby's going four for 12, Ugh. and then no, basically no one else is Nobody doing the job. Nobody else is doing anything. I mean, he had to. Yeah, There's he, no he kind of had, had to. <laughs> yeah, 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 he kind of had to go <clears throat> Dicko mode for us to, uh, to win that game. Yeah, and we literally only won by seven. I know, which is so. It like that. The pisses me because I know I know we won the game. I know he had a great game, but like, guys, we this is not. Something. This is not. And now that now that Maxi is go- gone, yeah, let's transition. Uh, to that. We can transition to that. Yeah, we. Ha- I need to now. But uh, I think it said what three to four weeks. Yeah, three to four small weeks. Small fracture in his foot. Yeah, yeah, three to four weeks. Yeah, Maxi foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean. It's good that we have the depth. It's not a great lineup we're rolling out. No. But, I mean, uh, literally yesterday the Heat had seven players against the Wizards. <laughs> and they, because Bam, Butler, Hero, Damn. and like everyone was out. Everybody so was at least out, yeah. we're not like. Yeah, we're not the only team. We're not rolling out seven players. That's good, yeah. And we at least have some. Shake is. Shake is. Formidable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, enough. He's good. Enough. I, uh, I believe in him enough to, you know. So, I mean, we have a not a lot, not a huge chance. No, to win a lot of games during no, this stretch, but which is uh, it's not a short stretch. Yeah, three to four weeks without Harden and Maxi. Yeah, because it says Harden is he's still on schedule, but sometime in early December. And yeah. if anything, they're probably gonna. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I would think maybe prolong it if. If they can. If they, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if we go on a terrible losing streak, then Harden's going to have to 
Yeah, come on. Yeah, but at the same time, I don't want him to. I want to make sure that he is yeah. fully good and being a little older now and being, you know, you know, the second guy on our team. Mm-hmm. I would, I would like him to. Which kind of sucks because you don't want to like suffer now early season and then just have to constantly fight for the rest of the season and like constantly be like in yeah trying battle. to get over that yeah. hump when everyone was hurt. Mm-hmm. It's so, gonna be hard to do, yeah. but. When, I mean, we got maybe, we got a team of dogs. That maybe could, yeah. I mean, yeah. we were surprised with when we were just just watching the Minnesota game that Georgia Niang yeah, was. He was actually like forty five percent from three. It, yeah, that's we crazy. We said that. We said it doesn't feel like that. It definitely we were literally doesn't, just shitting on him at the end of the last pod about because he usually doesn't do anything and he's not that good at defense. So yep. it's like I don't know. I mean, if Georgia can keep up that. Keep that three percentage, but with a little more playing time. I don't think he'll keep the percentage. No, I don't think he will. Maybe go down to like a forty-two, but with like yeah, if he, as long as it's over, points. you know, forty percent. Yeah, maybe George Niang is the guy that, that steps up for us. Fuck it, at this point, which is fine, <laughs> which which is kind of believable because yeah. if he just keeps hitting threes at a high, um, he has the confidence. Yeah, if he yeah, if he keeps hitting them high volume and he yeah, that would be the ideal. So obviously we always need spacing with Joel, so that yeah. would be. Yeah, so maybe George's Niang is, is the guy that that we uh, that we would call be fun. on. It would I, be fun. Just a little Niang run for like nowhere. just the end of November. He just goes crazy. Yeah, I would not be upset at all. Yeah. Just him and Joel, like they have the best. I don't know, best plus. I don't know. They just like <laughs> historical numbers yeah. out of nowhere for no reason. Hey, let's let's hope. I can but see it happening. Speaking on the Toby hasn't played the last two games, also had a report that he's possibly in trade rumors. Yeah. We knew that in the off season they were looking around. He's been, he's been, yeah. So, I don't know, with him sitting tonight as a coach's decision, not as, I know he had a, he was out against whoever they played the last, I forget. Yeah. With a, with a, thigh pain yeah, or whatever some, it was like a bullshit something something that i didn't believe and especially with the increasing yeah trade talks i don't like i, I don't know i kind of be sad if we traded him because i'm kind of i'm kind of for the you know what i'm saying like at this point at this point like you know we've i've went through enough with him like why don't we just keep him unless like uh, daryl Morey is cooking something up yeah, and we get I a crazy know. package I'll, I can't I don't know. think of a deal that would allow us to get something that would make this team better. I don't but know. even, but Toby's not making this team better. Exactly, he's really not. So it's so, like if we get anything, I don't know. It's just hoping that whoever we get in the deal is enough of a shakeup. Maybe yeah. they can blossom here that they weren't blossoming wherever they were before. But potentially, potentially, yeah. But I, I kind of, I want a guy that's like. Ready. You're not going to get that. I know, I know. But Especially like, with, the, we have no draft yeah, picks. Yeah, I know, I know. And bias's value is not. That's why I'm like, why trade him? Because I feel like the return we're going to get is not. Yeah, this. It's not going to be like, in. it's not going to be like, oh, shit. We, unless unless really you made think a, a crazy, we're going to get a crazy scheme fit that no one's thinking of that's going to make whoever we get in the trade yeah, better. Yeah, I'm trying to think, but I really. Let's get Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley's going crazy right now with his threes. Because even he, yeah. the game we were talk we were watching a little bit of the rerun of the Jazz yeah, and the, Suns, yeah. and I was just looking at the game against the Heat where Joel went off. He went four for ten from three. Oh, okay. So okay, his three is not. I don't know. So, yeah, That's I don't know. The I mean, name off the top of my head. Yeah, no, but I mean, yeah, another guy's like a buddy healed. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just don't. I don't. I don't know what the value is there. I don't. But I would see if you trade Tobias, I would want to get a shooter, yeah. a guy that can shoot to some capacity. You need, yeah, because Toby is a shooter, kind of, and kind of, inside, yeah. kind of. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just have someone that's all he's, good at one thing. Yeah, I was going to two in between. diss him, but he's like a not good three-level scorer. Yeah, basically. Because, like, yeah, he can, he can take you off the dribble. Yeah, he can kind of score wherever, but, like, does he excel at any of them? I really Not wouldn't really. say that. I'd rather, like you said, I'd rather have a sharpshooter. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty generic to say, but just like a 3 and D guy, yeah. Obviously. You can know it. Yeah. I'll take 3 and D guys over. Or even uh, just a sharpshooter. I just, just a yeah. sharpshooter. I'd rather, as long as he's a consistent shooter, Tobias is That can is make not... up for poor defense on the other end. That yeah. Maybe that, 
since we have solid down low guys that can possibly make up for yeah a poor like a cut on yeah hopefully have it a, yeah. yeah we have the big guys down there so yeah you you you, you could force them inside mm-hmm. and then that could be to kind of compensate for yeah. the kind of like what the Jazz did with the Rudy Gobert basically they kind of just funneled everybody to him and they were like all right you do the work <laughs> so maybe we just do that with Joel. But uh, I don't know. I'd be kind of I wouldn't not heartbroken if we traded Tobias, but I'd be like I'd be like, oh. yeah. But, oh man, oh bias. That's a solid R. Oh. But then I wouldn't feel that bad that I didn't see him that one time at Crumble Cookie. True. That wouldn't make me feel as bad. But like, yeah. well, he's not a sixer anymore. So I, don't I would personally feel a little worse. Yeah, John, because he I met him did. and took a picture and everything. Meet yeah. Tobias Harris. Yeah. He did sign two basketball cards yeah. for me. Have a picture with him yeah. where I look really fat. <laughs> <laughs> the picture is so bad. <laughs> what is the shirt too tight or what, I what th- happened? I didn't what think happened? that shirt was that tight. Yeah, and then I was you... like, I like this shirt. Yeah. I wore it like a couple days ago, and I was like, I'll wear this. This is a clean, nice little like mustard, like, yeah, mustard yellow. And I pull up, take the picture, and then the, you can see like my breasts, <laughs> my like, dude, I hate that when you, when you like a shirt and then you're like, oh, this shirt, I like this shirt. Yeah. But then like you see yourself in the mirror or something, I'm like, damn, yeah. I look fat as shit in this. I was like, damn, you can see my titties in this. And I was like, you, you I don't like you, this anymore. You know when you got the shirt and like the muffin top is like kind of hanging. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh no, it's, 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 it's too it's tight around my waist. Way too it's, vivid. I'm like, oh no, it's too fitted for me. I was like, I. <laughs> Oh, uh, that is the worst. I hate uh, that. And, like, literally beforehand, I was like, this shirt looks great. Yeah. And then it didn't. Because it's usually, it's shirts that I like, and then I'm like, oh, damn, this doesn't, yeah. uh... Fuck, I forgot eight horrible like, three days. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. So the shirt probably did look good yeah, three days yeah, ago. Probably. But now, after eating, like, shit Yeah, for like, three shit days. and not going to the gym in forever. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Uh, but also in trade talks, John Collins. Fuck John Collins. I hope. Yeah, he's been in trade talks for the past like season. Yeah, I want to be on a team where people, yeah, people give me the ball. To yeah, time. value me. I don't know. You're I, not I good just, enough for that, John Collins. I don't know. I don't know. He's cool, but I think he's just like a, he's a good offensive guy. He, I don't. He's not defensive. I wouldn't Toby, really say he's a good defense. Hypothetical, but. random, Toby for John Collins, one for one. Who wins that trade? Hmm. Uh, I don't think we do. <laughs> I, I, really? don't, I don't know if we do. Because I think... I feel like Toby will be in the same position for the Hawks. Yeah. A third guy who can't finish. John hey, Collins, I'm trying to think like the spacing, but I guess their spacing isn't amazing. Is it? No. Nah. Not really. Because nah. DeJounte Murray isn't like a no. super great shooter. Trey Young, yeah, but he's not... Yeah, and their big guys are... Big down low yeah, guys. Yeah, they're down. So. Yeah, it's not like Clint Capello or Okongwu is spacing the floor. Ah. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we I might win that one for one. I, but I just don't know morale-wise bringing John Collins uh, yeah. in for the Sixers. I don't know. I don't know if I like that with the little beef that the little <clears throat> No, backstory. I don't want John Collins. I don't I'm just saying that. hypothetically. Because isn't he the one, one that literally got a, the T-shirt with the... Yeah. Yeah, I don't really want that. It was a, no, but it was no, his that, birthday cake. That was really oh, cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, happy birthday. Remember when you did the offensive foul against Joel? Yeah, that that was crazy. Uh, uh, uh. But, um, I mean, yeah, hypothetically, because they're both in trade talks. <laughs> I get that. Uh, I mean, he does... I mean, we need more offense, so, yeah, he could he would do that, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's something to think Yeah, about. but that would also just be... Uh, I don't know. Is he a good... I don't think he's a good shooter, though. He no. can't really space the no, floor. No, <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, what's John Collins Is he, like... Uh, I don't really like that lineup, then. John... Because oh, he he's more of, like, a power... Because, like, we could put yeah. Tobias at, like, the three sometimes. Yeah, we could. And then we put PJ at the four and then Joel. But if we just have, like, a... Uh, <laughs> uh, his three-point percentage... Is twenty two percent? Yeah, yeah I, I assumed. I assumed. Yeah, it but is, like just thinking, been dropping, been dropping since. Uh, I just don't like a lineup of like full health James Harden, Maxi, <laughs> PJ Tucker, John oh, Collins, so and gross. then Joel Embiid. Ew. That's disgusting. Ew. <laughs> We're getting cooked again. Anybody has a a a, a good wing? We're no, getting cooked. 100%. PJ Tucker is getting cooked. What is John Collins going to do? <laughs> They're just going to throw it all at Joel. Joel's going to get in foul trouble. Yeah. And then 
but what Montrez? And, ugh, yeah, that just Montrez. sounds gross. And I like Paul Reed, but like, will you throw him at the five? Or and then oh, yeah. and then John Collins? Ugh. Or what? I don't even know. What do you start Daniel House then? <laughs> Are we putting Daniel House in a starter and then PJ yeah. and then like? That sounds great. Honestly, that wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad. If, like, if Daniel House makes a little bit of a jump Yeah, this if year he makes a, like, a little more, just like a slight jump, that wouldn't be horrible. I don't know. But you, the starting, like the starting lineup would be kind of... The like spacing on that would be... I mean, ideally it sounds good, but PJ... Yeah. I don't know. No, no, I, don't know. Know. I don't really like that. The yeah. sound of that is, <laughs> is is not as good. Not as intriguing. I, it's like, oh, okay, maybe defensive or offensively, yeah, but... I forgot to put in the notes, and you reminded me when you brought up Montrez. The Giannis Montrez thing from last night. Oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, first off, let's give a big, big thank you for Giannis for giving us those free nugs. <laughs> Missing... I think he was four was for four? twelve. Yeah, it was some free throw four line. something. Yeah, it I was think horrible. he literally missed over two three times. <laughs> it was disgusting. Yeah, he was not. It was that was not looking good at all. So, first it started with the video of Giannis looking like he was going to practice some free throws, and someone had a ladder in front of him doing doing their job. Then Giannis got really mad and threw the ladder down. Yeah. So that looked shitty. <laughs> and then, second video. Giannis shoots a free throw. Montrez under the basket. Just grabs it. Grabs it and just walks, it and walks off. And he's like, I, I think the exact, yeah, he quoted, he was like, uh, this isn't Milwaukee. Like, we're not in Milwaukee. Yeah, I feel like that's Get weird in here. general to be, like, practicing free throws on an opposing player's net. Yeah, I mean, but I, I could see, because, like, I saw more, um, like, actual, more context came out about it. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know. Like, the workers were apparently, like, they didn't even have to do that. Apparently, they were doing it on purpose to fuck up Giannis. But it's like, I don't I don't know. I don't... And then Montrez came out with a tweet afterwards saying, Hey, make sure you get the complete story. I asked the man, can he get off the court so I can work out? They had to change the court over. Mm. He ignored me. So, hey, that's what you get. Respect is respect. Good night. Yeah. I just I, I I feel for like the Wells Fargo employee that is like, yeah. hey man, like I don't know if they had to like tweak the rim or something. I think that, I'm assuming that's what they had to do. Yeah. Is, like fix the rim or whatever, just a quick tweak or like maybe take a camera off. I saw people saying maybe take the camera off the top mm-hmm. or something. But like, he's just doing it. Like somebody's like, hey Bob, can you uh, you go up on? It's like, oh Giannis is shooting free. I don't care. Yeah. We need to, whatever. Well, we have, I want to go home. Yeah, Please we have a time schedule. And then the guy's like, oh, okay. And then Giannis comes over and then asks him. The guy's hey. like, and the guy Gross. was like, look, he said no. He was like, no. Yeah, and then Giannis was okay. <laughs> and then shoves. And I'm like, all right, man. Boy. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. At the same time, yeah, just let him shoot his free throws because I know a lot of players do that after games. They yeah. want to get re- obviously after shooting as bad as he did, you would want you to gotta um, revisit. But I can see. Cause, but but I feel for the Wells Fargo because. You know, he's just trying to get home. Yeah, he's not doing it to be like, fuck you, Giannis. I don't, like, like I I would hope not. Maybe yeah. maybe he is. But, like, it, to me, it just seems like he's like, all right, man. Yeah, like, I just, my like, boss told me to do something. He's telling me, like, <laughs> I got to I gotta tweak the rim when I got to do something with the hoop. I just, real quick. And then yeah. Giannis is like, no! Throw and then shoves it. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But since we're running a little long on the new segment, let's just yeah, run are, through yeah. the last couple things. Uh, Cade might have a stress fracture in his shin. We don't know too much more about it. Yeah, I hope it's kinda, nothing serious. Because yeah, that that's a that's a long wait. If not a long wait, but a long recovery process. If that is a stress fracture, I, I would hope. I would hope not. Um, Kyrie is expected to be back on Sunday. Yeah, reinstated or. Yeah, he did his little yeah, to do list. His, yeah. Um. So we'll see if. I don't know. He's a better person through all of this. Yeah, if, maybe. If, maybe. If Hopefully, he becomes any of this actually changed his viewpoint. I don't know. Or if he's just gonna go out and ball, and we won't hear anything about it. I, that's what I'm thinking. He might do. Yeah. He might just literally be like, "All right, I'm just gonna go, go crazy now mm-hmm. and just kind of keep to myself." And then just that's what I would. I don't know. But at the same time, it's Kyrie, so I think you know Kyrie's gonna. He's a little outspoken. Gentleman. You know, what I'm saying he's gonna say what he wants to say, mm-hmm. which. You know, is what it is. 
he's his own person, you know, whatever. I think we said this before. He has his own beliefs. But yeah. that's what I would think would be the right move is just go ball and be like, all right, let's just move on from this. Mm-hmm. I'm still really good at basketball, so let's just focus on basketball. Yep. And the last one is kind of what we expected from the Josh Primo thing is – uh, Josh Primo and the, psych- the former psychologist yeah. for the Spurs came to an agreement outside of the court for mm-hmm. the whole yeah something showing so, his wiener on consensual yeah game. so basically it sounds like he's getting away scot free basically yeah he threw some money at the issue yeah and, and then sh- and then it was okay I don't know if he'll be back in the league I hope not yeah I really um but also segueing to another part with uh. Yep. Miles Bridges, uh, apparently, I heard it from Shams, that um, the Pistons and the Lakers are monitoring the the situation because he pleaded a no contest to the domestic uh, violence. So that's... Uh, I mean, I, I think we said at the time that it was like, he's, it was either probation or like house arrest or something, yeah. so I don't think... Hopefully nothing comes of this and he's not on an NBA floor for... I hope not. A very, very, if not forever, long time. What this? I don't know. I could see the fact well, that the Lakers. I could see yeah, the Lakers LeBron just being can. like, I don't care what he did. I need, I need players. Yeah, I need to mm. win. I don't know because they they do seem like they're in a very win now. I mean, the Lakers have to be in yeah, a win they, now. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why it makes less sense coming from the Pistons. Mm-hmm. They have a young core of great players. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. Adding a abuser. And a he's pretty good at basketball. He's, yeah, he's pretty good at basketball. But yeah. you don't want to ruin what this Pistons team could be by exactly. adding a toxic game. Yeah, this. some random guy. And a lot of the, a lot of their guys, you know, homegrown. They drafted a lot yeah. of these guys, so it's like... Adding an outsider who's... <laughs> yeah, he's good at basketball, yeah. But the off-court issues, I think, outweigh, and, and the, the negative attention that you get from that, I think, yeah. outweighs the, the, you know, the pros on the... On the basketball court, and I don't hundred percent like Johnson. They have a great team. They have a lot of great young guys. So why? Yeah, the, you <laughs> literally guys why? aren't trying to win. Miles Bridges isn't gonna. Yeah, set it's you not over. like oh, Miles Bridges is really gonna come in and he's gonna. We're gonna be a playoff team once he joins. It's like, no, you guys are still gonna be bottom feeders that are trying to grow for the next couple of years, yeah, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, they're still gonna be, but it is what it is. Yep. I don't know. Right. We'll see. He said they're monitoring the situation. So nope. whatever. Enough of that. Guys, <laughs> instead of mean taters, it is now turkey and taters turkey for this taters for, Thanksgiving uh, episode. Yeah, this special Thanksgiving edition. For our Thanksgiving turkey and taters time, we are going to compare, like we did for the Halloween episode, some basketball players, to some Thanksgiving items. Thanksgiving tradition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, but in the comments, guys, if you have any fun little analogies for... Uh, like who who is your guy's turkey? Who is that that yeah, guy that's main. gonna come through? It's the main guy you want to build your team around. Yep, yep. He's shown that through thick and thin, he can be next a year. He's gonna be back. He's gonna be there. That first thing on your plate. Yeah. He's a guy you can believe in. Yeah, and you can Ooh. add add the, who's your gravy? Who's yeah, that yeah, guy you, that you can add so many different. You know, he, he's not gonna stand by himself. But when you add him to that turkey, when you mm. add him to that mashed potatoes, mm. he's a really he's a great compliment player. Yeah, I can really you know wrap up the whole you know yeah. team, the whole meal, you know that type. So I will go first. Hell yeah, um, guys! I don't like ham. I don't like ham. John dislikes ham. Ham's trash. I I I disagree with that, but I'm gonna let John. I'm gonna let John go. And I'm gonna say my ham, something you don't want. On your plate. Yeah. Something you... If you see it on your plate, you want to go on... Ew. Yep. I want to leave. I don't want that. Is the Warriors bench and the Warriors playing on the road. Yeah, they're, ugh, they're they, so bad on the road. I, have they won a game yet on the road? I don't think they have. I don't think so. The last time I saw a report about it... It, it was, was like 0-6 or something. It was something. horrible. I was like, I really? I literally put like money on the Warriors to do good last night because I saw they were playing the Oracle Arena. Yeah, so you're like, <laughs> oh, okay, there's a good chance yeah, that they'll... Uh, they might actually win this game. Yeah. And it was against the Knicks. So I was like... Mm. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Like, the players they want to progress have not progressed. Like Yeah, Jordan Poole has kind of been... has been wishy-washy as hell this year. Yeah, they are 0-8 still. Yeah, terrible. 
terrible. They're currently uh, seven and nine. It's... Wiseman got sent down to the G League again. That's that's t- that. Uh, that's that's like the real like. That's the real like. Uh, like you already spent money on pool, so you have to keep yeah. throwing him out there, even though like I think one game he, like very recently, like he scored like four not, points. I know and, he's like, been not good at some, all. See if I can find it, but. Um, but yeah. the the Wiseman. That's really uh, that, that worries me. And like he's looked bad. Like yeah. his, his the minutes he's been getting, like you don't want to give him minutes. No, like he needs no. like and he it's the like, right decision. Uh, uh, you would have hoped like John said, you would have hoped that that guy would have progressed by now and been I don't know, cause, cause Draymond is not he can't defend big man like he used to. Yeah. So you being fucking seven feet tall, you, you know, you would think, you know little A little progression, progression, a little you know, so you can I don't know. Yeah, be a bench guy, move into a star. But I, I mean, you're on the Warriors, so you would think that I don't, the development, the would culture, be there. There yeah, the is... culture is is strong and, and good. So you would think that he would have, but it's just not. Yeah, two games ago, of course, at Phoenix, <laughs> played tw- basically 27 minutes, 0 for five, 0 for three from three. Yeah, and he had eight assists. That's great. Cool, cool. But th- that's not what. You really no. want to pay Jordan Poole to do? No, you paid him to to take over. You know the the scoring that he showed that he can do. And what's literally crazy, the game before, two days before the game of Phoenix, uh, they won by thirty seven against the Spurs. I mean, it's like the Spurs. Spurs. But thirteen for twenty, five for ten from three, scored thirty six points. Yeah, and then. They leave or go <laughs> then they leave and then they're just ass again. I don't know. They they got to work. They got to figure out whatever <sighs> I don't yips know they get away from home. <laughs> I don't know how you're that bad on the road. Yeah. Oh, they, you haven't won That's a single crazy. away game this whole season yet. I know. You know. I know we're not super deep in the season, but still, really, it's long enough to be like oh. questionable. Yeah. Like very. You what? guys just won a championship. What the fuck happened? Yeah. Like, what? Is is this dynasty over? Is it finally over? It's seeming like it, and honestly, I'm not mad. I'm kind of a hey, get be done. Can the Warriors be done now? Can they can they be done? Yeah, and Clay's look like shit. Clay's ass, bro. I love Clay, but you're ass, Clay. Yeah. yeah, I know you. I mean, it's because he had two career-ending injuries. Yeah, it fucking sucks for him. Like I wish he didn't. I wish he didn't. I wish he, didn't he would have to still be a very high-level player, but he seems scared. He really does. It doesn't seem doesn't seem good. And again, it's to the injuries, but ugh, not good. So, Just not good. My ham, John's ham. I'm gonna go uh, for my uh, my. I'll, I'll do my negative one. I have uh, D'Angelo Russell as the cranberry sauce. Um, <laughs> don't know about you guys, but I I don't under I don't know where the cranberry sauce goes. I don't know what you put it on. I don't I don't <laughs> understand. Too many questions with it. Like what is it? I don't. I don't. It's sometimes it's it's a jelly. It's a sort like I <laughs> yeah. Don't, sometimes it's like actual cranberries I, with like exa- some I, juice around it. And I'm like, sometimes what? It like always the, like differentiates. And I'm like, chunk? yeah. And I'm like, what is cran? I don't know. It doesn't float my boat. And that I don't and you like have it. those same questions with D'Lo. Yeah, D'Lo. is he like an actual good player? Is he gonna give you those good minutes, or because is he gonna been, be? He's been deloading for yeah, the past literally. like eight not eight years, but <laughs> a very long time, and he's still ass. So it's like. I don't, and again, like he was, he's part of that, you know, younger core yeah. in 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 the Minnesota that you think, okay, that, that can be that can be pretty nice, you know, because him and Cat were boys, and then whatever, whatever, and then they they link up, and then then they don't really do anything, mm-hmm. and now he's averaging what? He's still averaging like 13? 14. Oh, 14, okay, he went up a point the last time I checked. He does have seven po- 17 points against the Sixers tonight. Six for nine. Cool. Cool. His one good game is against us, <laughs> a, a shitty Sixers team right now. Yeah, he's only 26. Like, he has. Yeah, like that... I said, he's he's been loading for a minute now. <laughs> he's been deloading for a second. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he hit 20. Tw- like, he was a steady incline in points. Then 21, 23, then another 23. Yeah. And now he's after 2019 21 and then year after 19 then year after 18 then this year 14 it's just it's so disappointing because i love d'angelo russell when he was on that that nicks i'm not the nicks the nets team yeah, the nets team was fun that was a beautiful team and i loved that and i thought okay i thought he could be good on minnesota i thought 
him and Cat, you know, Anthony Edwards, you know, it's going to be a fun little trio, you know. Oh, they got Gobert. Oh, that'll be... Oh, but he's been the piece that's like, oh, you're kind of not... Uh... And again, he's not like a defensive guy, so if he's not scoring points... And what is he doing? Exactly. What is he doing? <laughs> Running on the sprints court? out there. Yeah, so I'm like... It's disappointing, but... So, I mean, maybe he could... T- I hope he turns it around. I hope he does. But right now, he's not looking good. Yep. He's my cranberry sauce. Ugh. Um, you know, I'm going to do my only non-food-based one. Okay. I'm going to do Friendsgiving. Mm-hmm. You know, it's come into form the last couple of years. People Definitely are... More, more relevant, yeah. you know. And... Make those years into the beginning of the season, and you have Shea Alexander. Okay, okay. Going okay. crazy recently. He's going crazy, yeah. Yeah, he is, yeah. In that game winner against the Wizards. Yeah. Scoring, averaging 30 points. 30 points. He's the, he's th- averaging 30 on 50-40-90. Uh, Just in beautiful ins- splits. Insane splits. He's <laughs> And during the time when he was, good, like, he's kind of, you think he's at last game, he's yeah. kind of slowed down a little yeah, he bit. Had a 50, he had a 15-point game. Yeah. But... So during that time, before that, um, I saw a lot of posts about, yeah, 42, 37, 37, 20, no, he, 39, he was going, 30, he had a stretch 30, he was going on, yep, 18, yeah, 37, 34, 38, yeah. <laughs> insane. And I know, I know the, the Thunder aren't doing, but it's the Thunder, so yeah. it's like, but then I saw talks about, you know, speaking of SGA, like, he's been there, what, how many seasons Three, now? Three, I think. Three, people are saying, they give him one more year if the Thunder aren't out of this rebuild. Four, and sorry. Yeah, he's been the four, it almost, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If they don't do anything, I would trade him. Yeah. Because he's way too good of a, cause I hate seeing wasted talent. Yeah, he's. I hate seeing a guy balling on a team that's like, well, well we need a tank. So, like, you can be good, but, like, we don't care. Yeah, if, if for some reason they need, like, yeah, the, Rookies they drafted the last couple of years don't progress the way they want. Yeah, the way they am. They can get a full like refresh just trading for trading Shea away. Yeah, you get them to the right team that have the right asset. You can get a lot for, especially how he's playing right now. Yeah. His, his he's increasing his trade value. But uh, there's something else well, I wanted to say with that. Okay, I was gonna say since you brought up SGA, yeah, you can bring you can bring up Shea. I'll try to think of one of those. Okay, well, um, I also did SGA. Um, I did him as the turkey because he is, you know, the main guy on mm-hmm. the Thunder right now. Um, MVP type season. I remember. Um, yeah, that's why he's mm-hmm. by turkey. Um, it's not more of a, you know, traditional, always going to be there. It's it's more, you know, he's a main dish, you know, and I'm contributing, you know, he's the main guy of that team. So, not in the sense... Because he's still a younger guy, and this is the first season that you know he showed promise before. But, but he's gonna be the... those guy, that guy that you're gonna yeah, yeah. have as a cornerstone for a team. He's looking like a generational type guy that yeah. can okay, really do a lot on the court and be very efficient while doing it. So that's why if you haven't already bought SGA stock, it's probably pretty high already. Yeah, but should have bought it before the season. But uh, yeah. Get it, get it while you can, while he's still on a, a bad Thunder team. Yeah. No, I, I remember the thing I wanted to bring up. Um, the Paul George trade. Oh, yeah, that's looking during crazy. The, during the time that huge stretch he was going through, this kept popping up on my feed. The Paul George, the Clippers, and what OKC got in return yeah, for that. They got a whole, dude. Just the fact that they, they got lot. Shea in this trade. It's crazy. And, and they got so many, a first round, so many picks. <laughs> yeah, first round, which they used on Jalen Williams, yeah. um, 2024, 2026, and then the Miami 2021 pick, and then Miami 2023 lottery protected. Yep, yep. There's enough two pick swaps <laughs> for Paul George. It's, it's a crazy... So all of that from one guy that they, if need be, trade Shea and <laughs> yeah. get... Are probably a very similar haul. Potentially, potentially, yeah. If if, if this crazy streak yeah, continues, if Shea keeps up this this thirty, if he averages thirty points on fifty, forty, ninety, yeah, his his trade value will be out the out the roof. So the roof is out of there. Yeah, 
I don't know if you get the same amount of picks, but I think you could get three. Uh, enough you, of you, a refresh. Yeah, that... you, you could get a cup, and they already have a lot of picks, so it's like yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they have, they, they have a lot of a lot of deciding mm-hmm. to do in OKC because like we have a really good guy in SGA here. What do we do? Like, do we? Keep him until he's 30, or do we... Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Do we, you know, Kevin Garnett him, or... <laughs> True. I don't know. Um, do you I wish bo- the best for him. I hope he's yeah gets on a good... Or, I don't know, something happens. Or they hit the, the Victor Wintanyaba sweepstakes <laughs> and they get him. That would be, like, the only savior that I yeah. think that could... If, if Victor comes in there and him and SGA just go crazy. And Chet. And oh yeah, they have Chet too. I forgot about Chet's Chet. Little... Chet is like an afterthought now. I'm on to Victor. I don't. I used. To, I like Chet, but now yeah, he, he's him hurt, not playing. So he's he's like, yeah. I don't even care. I want Victor in the league right <laughs> now. I don't care. Um, you brought up your turkey, mm-hmm. my turkey. I, I did take an easy route on this one. It is Joel and B. Yeah, but that's that's a great one. Yeah. That's a great one. He's he's the table setter. He's everything to the sector, especially with all the injuries right yeah, now. Yeah, right now he is. He is the, the he, main guy, main he's, dish. He's been the turkey. Mm. He is the turkey. Yep. And hopefully will continue to be the turkey. I hope so. For going forward. For he, at least a, like two, three years. Yeah. Hopefully at least. He is that guy. Yeah. That's, Currently. I mean, yeah. that's really that's, it. That's all, that's all John really needs to say. Enough it's said. Fucking Joel Embiid. Enough said. Shout out uh, Perkins. Big Perk. Perk. Uh, let me do my mashed potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, you know my mashed potatoes. You know a nice. You know me and John were talking about this before. You know you can eat mashed potatoes. At, you know on their own. Mm-hmm. You know they're good. But you know when when you pair it with you know a turkey, you know like a Joel Embiid in John's case. Mm-hmm. You know I have Tyrese Maxey, so you know he he is a, you know he could be, a number one potentially. But mashed potatoes aren't that good on their own. Mm-hmm. Unless you love mashed potatoes, cool. Yeah, some people... Yeah. Yeah, some people really love mashed potatoes, and yeah. that could be, like, a magic team. Yeah, that he could be on he a shitty be a, team and go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know... I when you're on them, a high standard yeah, turkey yeah. You, you stuffing, you want the you everything. Yeah, you, you can... Yeah. You put a little gravy on him, and then, mm-hmm. and then you know, then he's your... your own. Second to third guy on the team. And that's like, oh, okay, that's I think that's where Tyrese Maxey fits as a great... I think it'd be a great number two or three, you know, having Harden on the team. But, yep. yeah, I think that's that's a great uh, comparison, I yeah, think, yeah, for, for Maxi mashed potatoes. <clears throat> so we brought up best, best and a little bit of gravy in there. Mm-hmm. I think of gravy. You're, you can't eat it straight up. No, you cannot, no. No. Unless you're starving. Yeah, unless yeah, you're down bad, yeah. You need you need sustenance. Yeah. But it is a great addition. Yes. Wonderful. You you put it with a a mashed potato. You got a great one too. Yeah. One you two. put it with a turkey mashed potato gravy. <sighs> best one two three in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's a great that's a great a trio right there. Yeah. And I would like to say, I mean, arguably, top one two three in the game. Jason Tatum is the turkey. Yeah. Brown. Is the mashed potatoes? Yeah. Grant Williams is my gravy. Yeah, I like that. With that I like that. With big that, old ass he has. Big juicy ass Grant Williams. God has. damn. That just really helps him just ground the defense. Yeah, because really nobody's does. moving that big ass. No, no one. Nobody's moving. Like that. he has, yeah, big body up front. Yeah. But when he's in that little squat position, no one's pushing him. Yeah, back. he has so much has weight so, back there. He has yeah. so much. You put, you're pushing back, but it's, he's pushing back at you at the same time. There's yeah. so much weight back there. Those, those cheeks are stopping anyone. Anything. A lot. And he's undersized, but the cheeks make up for it. His yeah. big bodiness makes up for it. Yeah, if you add, like, he, how, how tall is how tall is Grant? He's like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, like six, six, seven? Six, six, seven. Yeah, he sounds like... Grant Williams. Sounds like that type of... Let's just make sure. He's 6'6". Six, 6'6", six. Six, six, okay. But if you if you take away the inches of his ass... Yeah. That boy is, like, 7 feet oh, tall. he's damn near 7 feet tall. Yeah, his ass is... Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> Perfect gravy. He scoring ten points this year, which is a three point upgrade from the year before. That's good. That's His good. three has been pretty good. Forty nine percent. Yeah, no, three. he's been he like because he was a guy before that. Eh, maybe I'll leave Grant Williams. Now he's you have you to gotta guard, guard him. him on the outside. And that's it. That's a great. I, lo- I love that comparison. He is the Boston Celtics gravy. He is. He's a guy that 
really just comes in and just yeah. rounds out the whole thing. You're focusing on that turkey for too long. Yeah. Then that gravy sneaks that in. Gravy just, oh, I didn't know that gravy was there. Then yeah. he's just hitting a three in the yep. corner like it's nothing. Oh, he's out rebounding you. Yep. You're 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 focusing on that mashed potato for too long. Gravy comes in. Yeah. And then just you can't help it. Yep. He's always <laughs> going to be there to soak up. Yeah. You need. Yeah. Uh, John, talking about his gravy, I'll bring up my gravy. I have a uh, Kyle Kuzma for that. Mm-hmm. Again, like John said, you don't need gravy on its own. No. And you don't want Kyle Kuzma on his own. Nope. <laughs> um, you know, he's a he's a good comp, you know, on that Wizards team, you know. He has, you know, Bradley Beal to score the ball. He has Chris Porzingis to score the ball. And then him being, you know, that second, you know, hopefully, you know, third option, you know, a, a, you know, second, third option. He can come in, you know. He hit that game winner the other night. Yeah, it was great. It was a great shot. Um, or I think they said it to OT. I think it was the game tired. Was it the winner or game tired? Whatever it was, it was a buzzer beater, and it was it was very good. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, great as a complimentary piece. Yep. You don't you don't want him as your focal point in an offense because I don't think he's he'd probably give you twenty points, but a very inefficient twenty, yep. and that team is not winning any games. So I think hey. If he was still on the Lakers right now, they would love him. Yeah, they would they love would. him on the Lakers. <laughs> they would kill for a Kyle Kuzma. He on that would. Team. Uh, Kyle Kuzma would be more than gravy on that team. Yep. I think right now he would be. He, he might be fucking mashed potato. Hey, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. I don't know the way that that team is playing. I don't know. They they definitely I mean, would his, like some Kyle Kuzma right now. His three point percentage is looking like he's on the Lakers, <laughs> but uh, shooting. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to talk about that. I know he's shooting very bad from three. But I know that, eighteen but. points, you know. It's, uh, Eight boards a game. Yeah, no, he's, that's a that's a great third. I think option. it's it's a solid for Kuzma. I think it's a solid, um, yeah, solid for you know a third guy. That's why he's my gravy. I I think that's a really good one. All right, my last <sighs> one is potato filling. Potato filling. Potato filling. Pineapple filling. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. Pineapple filling. Yeah, my, pineapple filling. My mom's made pineapple filling. Like, basically every year. Yeah. We'd always go over to my grandparents' house. She'd always have it. And I'd be like, nah. Nah. That was, like, trash. Mom, that's trash. <laughs> but last year, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll let's, eat it. Let's try some <laughs> pineapple filling. Yeah. That shit was so good. I don't know why I've been passing it up for so long. You never know until you try it, right? And the Jazz have finally tried yeah. and have loved. They- They've loved Markkinen Markkinen. Yeah. on their team. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, he got disrespected early in his career. Never yeah. really. No one wanted you know, that Laurie yeah, Markkinen. Yeah, like, like they say, kind of threw him to the side. Uh, I don't want that. And now the Jazz are like, oh, yeah, we'll take some Laurie Markkinen this year. Fuck it, why Martin not? Markkinen is actually, oh, okay. And now he has his fucking insane run that Laurie Markkinen is going on. I Crazy. watching it like he just could not be stopped. I watched him last night uh, against the. Phoenix Suns. The Suns. 38 points. <laughs> and the <15 laughs> dagger. 15 for 18. Yeah. He looks unstoppable out there. He really does. He really does. Like it's he, an insane his, thing to see. <laughs> his footwork, the way he's able to make some space to make those contested shots it's and just weird. have the mindset to lock down and know he's he looks so confident yeah, out there. Yeah, he does. There. He does. And... I, I'm I'm gonna be having some pineapple filling this Hell year. Yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> and you know what? Ever uh, there's a little call to action. If you guys have been sleeping on something and you think you don't like it at just Thanksgiving, try. just try. It. Fuck it. Just, just try, try it again. Just try it one time. Just like, see. Oh, okay. The single lawyer market and be like, everyone gave up on Lori. Right now, look but the him. jazz, but the jazz gave him a chance. Yeah. yeah. And he's dropping 38 points on a great Phoenix Suns team. Yeah, but. Yeah. And locking him down for a win. So. He, yeah, he came up very clutch in that game. Very clutch. <clears throat> um, I have a, a similar thing. It's not a, a pineapple filling. It's, um, you know, the pineapple and the ham. Mm-hmm. You know that. Um, always slept on it. Never really... Because, you know, I was never really a pineapple and pizza guy. I wasn't... You know, I didn't like the, you know, the sweet, savory kind. I was like, eh. Yeah, good. But, you know, then I tried it. I was like, oh, this is actually... Okay, I actually, I actually like pineapple. And and, and and the the saltiness of the hell, okay, so she, okay, you know I, I never really gave it a chance, and I think a lot of people did that with Bol Bol. They definitely did. You know, the, I, I gave up. On them. I, I never gave up on them. 
I always believed in the bull bull um, supremacy that is happening right now. <laughs> um, I lo- I know his his it's the stats aren't amazing, but just to see him getting like solid minutes, yep. and again, it's a team that like I think truly believes in him, and they're actually giving him a shot, and I, I just love to see it. I, I love to see bull bull actually like. Being what I thought he could be. Uh, I'm not. I'm gonna be real with you, Beth. The stats are there. They're they're there. Are they well, there? Almost 13 points a game. Okay. Eight boards a game. Okay. 62 from the field. Yeah. I mean, his he has a nice free throw. 87. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I mean, just came off a 26 point game. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, it was a horrible loss to Minnesota. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't care about the wins or losses. Still 26 points yeah, that he yeah. didn't have before. Yeah. I don't care about the wins or losses. I know he's on a Magic team that's still rebuilding. But I just think it's dope because I had so much hope for Bull Bull when he first came to the league, mm-hmm. but then it never worked out because he was just he I was know, on the injuries. Nuggets he was on the Nuggets. You're not gonna yeah, you're, outplay Jokic okay, exactly. So there was really no need of him, and I, you know I saw him get picked up by the Magic, and I was like, oh, okay, this could be, and it's it's been very good. It's been a Bull Bull resurgence, and. I, I love to see it. Yeah. So. Also, uh, happy belated birthday. His birthday was three days ago. Okay. And also, happy belated birthday to Jalen Duran. Duran. Yeah. Jalen Duran. I mean, yeah. Bro's n- literally guy. nineteen. Bro's literally nineteen. Yeah. He's and literally he's younger amazing. than both of us, but he's fucking insane. But shout out. Him. He's setting a wonderful groundwork for a career that's gonna. He is. Gonna be around for all a time, long time. All time big. Yeah, bull bull. That's a great pick, Bess. I love it. I love me some Bull Bull. I'm I'm glad to see him finally blossom. Yes, Bull Bulling around. He's Bull Bulling. I also heard his voice for the first time, and he does not sound like how you would think he would sound sound like. Um, Can I find it? It was on. It was a TikTok. It was like a magic TikTok, I think. But it was fucking no. Oh, no magic. Here it is. Lobsters. There's a lobster. Okay, that's that's Paulo. That's Markel. And lobster is one of my favorite foods, so yeah, I might wear this. That was Bull Bull. Yeah. That was Bull Bull saying, "Yeah, I might wear this." Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's see this interview. That's that's why I love lobster. Bull Bull so much. Why is it still playing? I closed the app. Did you feel like your group played defensively tonight, especially you know that starting unit with all the switching? <laughs> Does he actually sound like that? Um, I feel like we did a pretty good job switching. One he sounds five. like a normal dude. Yeah, he sounds like a normal dude. He sounded weird. Yeah, normal. they did. It's like, I'd wear those. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a nerd. He yeah. really sounds so nasally. I don't know. It, it caught me so off guard. I was like, is that how Bobo really sounds? But it's not, so. <laughs> yeah, no. That's that was just, they took one take and was like, all right, yeah, fuck Bobo. Let's make him look weird. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, all right, guys. But yeah, that's our... Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving episode. Oh, yeah. Have a great Thanksgiving, guys, if you celebrate. If you celebrate it, hope if you, not, um, have a great Thursday. Yeah, have a great Thursday, yeah. You're, you're probably off from work. Yeah. Enjoy your day off. Yeah, overall, I yeah, hope you have a good week, yeah. But we will yeah. see you guys next week. Next week, yep. Check out all the socials yeah, once again. Fire TikToks. Um, fire TikToks, as always. Yep. Um, check out Bass's TikTok. Check out my CBS James. New, new uh, Bass, yep. Bruce of Bass. Hell yeah. All right. right. It's been a pleasure, boys. See you. Girls, peace. Peace.